Hey, do you see this yet? I mean, Chief. Huh? What is that? Looks like Alan Spaulding's coming down hard on you about Arturo. Yeah, so I took a few traffic cops off the street to put them on the 8th Street drug bust. It's not like any more cops on the street would have slowed Arturo down. How the hell I know about this? Keep reading. I always put good men on traffic duty because the safety of our citizens is the most important thing, says former police chief Frank Cooper. That's great. That yeah, wasn't sure if I actually own the house because I mean, Gus bought it and now he's gone. It's your house, Mrs. Zayatoro. Gus was very excited to buy it for you and Rafe. Let me get the rest of the contract. Thank you. How are you? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm good. How about some breakfast? Ah, uh, I can't. I'm already late for court. You a big case? Actually, uh, this is personal. I'm going to file the annulment papers today. So, so soon? Is Reaver pressuring you or something? No, no, not at all. Actually, she finds the whole thing kind of amusing. Uh, but I'm feeling a little, you know, uncomfortable. And well, now that Olivia's on the road to re recovery, what? Well, maybe it's silly, but I just, I think it's normal for a daughter to want her parents to remain married. Well, first of all, there's nothing normal about a marriage with Olivia. <laughs> And, you know, you're going to be stuck with us as parents anyway, so lucky you. I'll take it. I'll take it. No, I'm going to be late to the courthouse. Reba's waiting. Oh, that's so sweet. Your girlfriend's waiting to go with you to your divorce hearing. Uh, be good. <laughs> uh, don't worry about Olivia. She's going to be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The heart Miss Spencer, Miss Spencer, please calm down. I just need to change your IV. No, I don't want it. No, you need it. These medications are the only thing keeping your body. Just go. Get out, or I'll scream. Thanks for fitting us in. Uh, confession. It's my first annulment. Well, it's a piece of cake. Uh, well, that's pretty straightforward, you and Miss Spencer. Yes, uh, well, she needed someone uh, to take care of things when she thought that she was dying. It turns out, well, she's going to be fine, so... Uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. I have to take this. O'Neill. Yes, I understand. I'll be right there. Olivia? That was the hospital. Olivia is refusing the drugs that she needs to keep her body from rejecting the new heart. And I'm sorry, we have to go. I can't do this. Rafe. Hey. I'm sorry about your dad. But donating his heart like that, I mean, that's kind of who Gus was. Yeah, generous guy. Go to hell. Big roll, cinnamon, lots of icing. <laughs> I thought I'd bring you guys some bagels. <laughs> Thanks, Diner. Saves us a trip. Don't hold back, they're all for you. I don't want one. <laughs> Thanks anyway. I'll get a crumb later. So how you holding up? Well, you know, I'm good. I don't get to eat much, but I'm good. I don't mean the job, I mean Gus. I don't know, half the time it doesn't even seem real. And of course, all I gotta do is pick up a paper and find out that Alan's trying to pin Gus's death on me because I didn't put enough traffic cops on the street. But once in a while, I come across a quote from Frank about how he would have done it differently. 
whatever. Frank, he's got nerve. Yeah, I know. Frank's upset and Alan's a jerk. You know what? What do you say we go have some breakfast? I wish. I don't have any time. I can't. I don't have any time. All right. Another time then? Yeah, okay. Another day. That would be good. Bye, Chief. Bye. was in the front of the hotel messing it up. He was ripping out plants and pulling down signs. Rafe. Rafe, why would you do that? Because, Ma. Because I'm sick, all right? I'm sick of living in a family getting everything they freaking want. All right, what do we get, huh? We get nothing, Ma. Just calm down and be glad that... What? Be glad what? Be glad that, be glad that Gus gave Olivia his damn heart? No! No, man! Okay, wait, just come here. Come here. What? Just. I know you're angry. I'm angry too. Oh, what? 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 We can't take it out on others, right? But we can't take it out on others? Ma, forget that, alright? I can't do that. I don't want to hear it. Hey, let me take a crack at it. What do you know about parenting? Nothing. But I know a lot about being angry. Trust me. Hello, sunshine. Shut up, Jeffrey. Now, is that any way to talk to your new loving husband? Mm, widower soon. Women are gonna love that, though. I'm gonna cook for you. The doctor says that you are refusing your medication. Olivia, you need that so your body doesn't reject the new heart. No. No more needles, no more pills. Well, that's just stupid. I don't care. Okay, you're feeling guilty because Gus is gone and you're here. For now. Your daughters need you. And I tried to be a good mother, Jeffrey. You are a good mother. They they love you. Look, Ava, Ava, even with Emma, I wasn't sure she was ready to be a mother. Now she's pregnant. Okay, I'm going to have to start cueing the violins here. Gus is dead. You're alive. I don't feel very alive right now. Well, this isn't acceptable. Nurse? Miss Spencer is ready for her medication. First Stop. shot's yours. I'm not doing this, all right? Not like I wouldn't want to take a shot, man. Listen, I'm sorry about Gus, all right? It was my bike, dude. Stop I wish it was Stop me. Stop it. Look, just leave me alone and stay away from my mother, all right? You think you're the only one suffering? Huh? Nobody's suffering more than your mom. What do you know about anything? You only use being a kid as an excuse for so long. Okay, when people need you, you gotta be more than that. You are full of I'm it, full man. of it? I've been you, the tough you guy, the you? angry guy. Hit, hit me, come on. Hit me, what? harder. Hit me, let's go. Come on, get it out of your system. Stop. Hit me, Stop. hit me, hit me. 